Laura Burkett here, a holistic health counselor and owner of Real Food Wellness. Today's topic is going to be cravings. This is big. This is a huge topic for anyone, regardless of where you are in your journey with food. Um, sometimes cravings pop up, whether you crave consistencies, crunchy, creamy, uh, flavors, salty, sweet, savory, um, or specific foods, whether it is sugars, breads, um, it could be anything, fried foods, fatty foods. So the thing to, to really remember is that we, sh we really shouldn't chastise ourselves for giving into cravings. Um, cravings are our body's smart solution in maintaining balance. So when a craving comes up, I say give into the craving and then kind of put your detective hat on and figure out what your body was trying to tell you. So it really is like a little tap on the shoulder, your body's saying something's out of balance here. So from a nutritional standpoint, usually when we're having a craving, um, the body, there, there's a lack. So um, say, for example, that all of a sudden you've been craving um, ice creams and cheeses and lots of rich, more fatty foods. Uh, rather than feeling bad about this and focusing on that, um, it, this may be an indicator that we're not getting enough healthy fat into our diet. So this will happen frequently with people that are trying to adhere to a low-fat diet. Um, that are not getting enough fat that their body needs and that's the key everybody is different so this could look like just using more you know oils nuts and seeds in the diet or you know ha having half an avocado with your salad at lunch um, so that's a great example um, I know personally I'll notice when I'm not getting whole grains in my diet dry cereals and crackers and things start creeping in just as a tap on the shoulder that okay it's time to make sure that we're getting high quality carbohydrates back into the diet um, you know sweets some people carry some people still carry fears around sugar in fruit as a product of our culture uh, the diet industry that sugar or excuse me that fruit has too much sugar so if we finding or if we find ourselves um, restricting uh, fruits, tropical fruits, and then we find ourselves reaching for M and M's, Snickers, or Kit Kats, um, or even organic cookies, it could be an indicator that we need to get sweet fruits and sweet vegetables back into the diet. Um, so that's from a nutritional standpoint. Next, we are going to talk about um, the non-food reasons. And actually, there is something to be said that we do need to understand from the nutritional standpoint before we switch gears here, is according to macrobiotics, there is a um, uh, kind of this theory that our bodies will crave balance and they will do whatever they possibly can to maintain this. So from one, on one end of the spectrum, we have yin foods that are extremely expansive foods. So the epitome of this would be uh, sugar, highly refined sugar, uh, refined breads, pastries, cookies, and also of course alcohol, which is a great example is what happens when we have alcohol, we kind of expansive, very free, we kind of lose a little bit of control, same thing with sugar. On the other end of the, the spectrum, we have yang food, extremely contractive food. We can almost feel the tension rise in our body. Um, so this would be highly refined salt, meats, eggs, and cheese. So kind of ask yourself where you fall on that end of the spectrum. And if you're falling on one side or the other, it is not a coincidence that your cravings, like say you're having a lot of sugars and fruits and raw foods, all of a sudden you're craving hard cheeses and salting, you know, everything under the sun. This is your body's smart way of trying to maintain an equilibrium. So this is the reason why, you know, uh, say that an evening of having a cocktail or two, the next day you might be craving greasy, salty foods. Um, this is the reason why uh, chocolate-covered pretzels are attractive and the same reason why spaghetti and meatballs are great for people because they um, have a, a very yin food and a very yang food. Uh, this can take its toll on our emotions as well. So then the question becomes, what are the most balancing foods? And these are going to be your grains, 
uh, beans, uh, vegetables of course, and, and a lot of our fruits too. And the great thing about this is the more we start including naturally balancing foods into the diet, our body will, will thrive off of this and continue to crave naturally balancing foods. And then when we start to crave something a little bit off the beaten path again, then we can again put our detective hat on and say, hmm, what's changed in my diet? Have I been having more sugars lately or, or more salty foods, contractive foods? So um, I encourage you to examine where your cravings are going um, and again, not feeling bad about it, but um, listening and seeing what modifications you can make to maintain balance.